Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Charlene Randall and today is January 24th which starts the 2022 year tax season. So this tax season is going to be a little bit different uh, just for the simple fact of everything that's going on and everything that's been going on for the past two years with the pandemic and everything else that we've experienced over this time. So I just want to give a little bit of information. Um, I actually used to work doing taxes some years ago. I worked uh, doing taxes about five years, about five different uh, tax seasons, and I enjoyed it. But um, so I do know somewhat, you know, a lot of I know a lot of information. I had a lot of contact back and forth with the IRS. I had a lot of contact, one on one contact with the clients. I, you know, did a lot of information uh, and, you know, uh, conducted a lot of interviews, uh, tax interviews with uh, the, the clients and the customers and, you know, got a chance to hear, you know, everything that uh, the customers wanted and, you know, what they felt and expressed during tax season because not everybody loves to do taxes. Um, and then, uh, but everyone do does love a refund. So, you know, that is what I learned uh, working in the tax season. And as I said, I did it as a supervisor for about five years, uh, supervised two offices uh, at that particular time. And, um, you know, I enjoyed it. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe for all the information uh, that I am going to be sharing with you over this time. Join me on this YouTube channel for everything uh, that I'm going to be teaching, talking with you about, conversating with you about. Join me and make sure you get to know everything uh, that I will be discussing. So, as I said, I ran the tax office, uh, supervised for about five years. But what I learned is that a lot of people come into uh, the tax office uh, to prepare their return and they don't bring uh, enough information. Uh, that's that's one. They don't bring enough information and they don't know uh, basically what to expect. A lot of people come in and they're really concerned uh, just about the refund. And sometimes they're concerned so much about the refund that they don't even understand that they may be due a bigger refund or a bigger return if they bring in all the paperwork and all of the things that are associated with their taxes throughout the year. So definitely... If you are an individual, you want to bring in all the information. If you are a corporation, a business entrepreneur, you want to bring in all the information. You have to understand that when it's time to get your taxes done, all of the information that you need to bring in is going to help you with your return and make your return as accurate as possible. So bring in the correct documents, bring in identifying information, social security cards, birth certificates, uh, child care information. Uh, and this year, there was the advanced child care credit. So that's going to be uh, something that is included uh, in the return if you are qualified for that. So you need to pay attention to that. If you have child care uh, expenses, you need to uh, pay attention to that. You need to uh, basically look into you know all of the information and be as specific as possible with the information that you have to prepare your return so in order to make your return be processed as quickly as possible because everyone wants their return to be done quick right you don't want to wait on your return or you don't want to have anything that uh, the irs needs to look at in order to um process your return. You want a smooth return. You want all of your documents to be identified, everything, all of the receipts, all of the information that you have to uh, be processed in the return uh, correctly so you can actually get your return faster. Now, uh, there was some delay last year for a uh, return and processing of uh, tax returns. So there were about 15 um, thousand call representatives for about two billion or so calls and, and inquiries that came in. So they said at 
that particular time last year, they were definitely swamped. So the best way for you to get your return process faster is to have direct deposit and to do an e-file. So you definitely want to do an e-file to get your return process within uh, the three-week period, the two uh, to three-week period of maybe four weeks, uh, you know, and not have your return process, you know, and waiting for that return for so long because people really, you know, got really upset um, last year waiting for their return. So, you know, if you have all of your information up front, so that's number one. Make sure you have all of your information up front. Make sure you have all identifying information. Make sure you do e-file. Make sure you uh, have direct deposit. And if you need any information about the IRS uh, tax 2022, make sure you go to the website and find out information before you, uh, you know, just try to make a phone call because you might be able to actually get that information uh, that you need over the phone. I mean, excuse me, online rather than go uh, over the phone. You might not need to make that phone call or you might want to ask your CPA or tax professional uh, information uh, if you have any other requests or any concerns or anything that has to do because there has been a few changes uh, just as I said with the, with the child care um, and what's expected. Uh, most of the things are uh, still the same but there has been a few changes so just in case if that has anything to do with your uh, tax profile you need to be you know aware of it you need to understand what's going on so Tax year 2022 has started uh, as of January 24th, uh, which is today, and the IRS are now accepting returns. So if you are going to file your return, uh, you can start as soon as today. So get the information you need, file your return, and to get it the quickest way, you do want to have e-file, and you do want to have your uh, bank account in direct deposit. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. There's so many things that I want to talk about and just, you know, want to give the information because sometimes information is, you know, not so uh, simple and not so clearly available for people. And so, you know, I want to be able to give you all different types of information and teach you all different types of things and let you in on some things. As I said, I was a tax preparer for and supervisor for five years and you would be surprised at uh you know some of the people that came and they never had any uh additional information that would make them have you know a more accurate return and you know um so you know or not have identifying information or had to come keep coming back to uh the office or just you know not really um getting the things together beforehand. So get everything together beforehand before you go to the tax office to prepare your return so you make things much smoother, much easier, and much better, and much quicker to receive your return in your direct deposit. So subscribe right now, comment, let me know what you think about this tax year and uh, what are your plans? Did you have any uh, delays? Hopefully not. Um, you know, but we all know that uh, with the pandemic, there were uh, delays with basically everything. But uh, they promised to actually uh, be much smoother. But you do want to have direct deposit and you do want to have EFA to get your return done the fastest way. So I will see you in the next video.